Hello guys again. Good evening to everyone. So just back from work and uh, what do I find uh, in my post? Exactly what I was waiting for uh, for about a week but it's here now. Got a package here from uh, guys in uh, it's, uh, Slick Revolution and there's something I want to do the uh, video on or another video on open it up let's make sure it's the what I was waiting for so what we got here is shred lights I have done a full review on packaging and uh, un unpackaging opening the box and all the rest of this stuff before so I'm not gonna go over this again but I have my uh, a replacement rear shred light so what I did have is I've ordered the set of shred lights uh, from Slick Revolution uh, front and back uh, the guys same as with the bearings were kind enough to install the brackets for me pre-install it's not hard to do but while they already had the board they pre-installed the brackets for me uh, for the shred lights, so the only thing I had to do is actually pop the shred lights on the brackets. But after a couple of days of uh, using the uh, shred lights, uh, one of the rear lights uh, stopped working. And apologies to Slick Revolution boys uh, if if you get offended by me, obviously doing this review. But as I said, stated in my first video. I only do fair and honest reviews yeah uh, so one of the lights backed up it's just stopped working uh, the button the press button that's located on this rubber uh, cover uh, just stopped clicking so that's obviously negative but let's be realistic everything breaks uh, the rest of the uh, lights is toward the front toward the back work 100% no issue whatsoever uh, this one packed up but positive about this so this video is actually a positive video yeah positive about this I've got my new light I've got my new replacement light works absolutely fine brand spanking new and it did not cost me a penny so my point is and the point I'm trying to get to this is one of the biggest reasons why I've decided to buy the board and bits for the board from UK based company there are tons of companies out there who sell uh, all kind of bits like this lights and boards and everything else but they are mostly located somewhere else in the world and uh, if you do get to an issue where something has broken uh, like for instance this light here whom would you contact do you get service do you get uh, your phone calls answered, your emails answered, do you get replacement parts and how fast? Do you go through all the hassle of arguing? Don't know. I didn't have experience uh, in board industry or in board kind of on board market, but obviously I do buy other bits uh, online, eBay's and stuff like that. And when you do deal with companies overseas, sometimes it's a bit harder than it is here in this country. So thank you, uh, Robert at Slick Revolution. I've emailed him uh, an, an image and explained that the lights stopped working and voila, I got myself a uh, free and brand new replacement. And so far he did not request the old one and obviously God knows, maybe I can then salvage the bits out of it if needed uh, for, for the lights in the future. Don't know, but I've got the old one as well. So this is pretty much it for uh, this uh, Discovery by my door today in the post, haha, <laughs> and as you can see, I'm going to now reinstate the uh, rear light because I already got one that was originally purchased, and that's the replacement one here. Very easy to do, over and under the bracket, that's it, and it's on. I can definitely say uh, for sure that the lights are splash proof and quite a heavy water are uh, kind of splash proof 
I know because if you would take a look at the videos I've done uh, so far, uh, first of my videos are made on a surface that was quite wet and the board was used to be covered in water after I came back from the ride. The lights were covered, uh, not covered, not dripping wet, but they had signs of water on them. But again, no issue whatsoever. And uh, this button did not back up because of the water damage, obviously. It's all rubber. It's all rubber. It just malfunction. Happens. So, happy days. Got my light. What I will do next is I will find time a bit later and I will take the board outside and I will find a really dark area and I will show you guys the what these lights can do and how much of the uh, light coverage you get from these lights. I will also do a uh, quick video on uh, this light's performance with, on the street lighting as well. So if you're interested, yeah, just carry on watching and uh, yeah, see you soon. So guys, as promised, I've got the lights on on the uh, Sleek Evolution e board and this is on the highest beam, two at the back, two at the front. You can see they uh, are quite bright. And it's going to go up and down. Uh, the street, that's a normal uh, street lighting. And that's my first time on these uh, stock wheels. Well, 83 millimeter wheels. So you know what? I think board is actually much more aggressive uh, on a uh, pickup, to be honest. Yeah. I am struggling to find a dark street. Thank you. I was able to find a darker street and the board is right in front of me. I'm going to walk slower towards it. Apologies for the camera shake. That's the only way I can do what I want to do. So, as you can see, that's the back of the board right there in the darkness. And this is how far the light stretches out behind the board. You can see the reflection on the ground. So, what I've done is I put a measuring tape on the floor and we can measure out by how much this shadow of red light stretches out by. So using my front uh, light, I can now see the uh, measurement. So it's 2.2 meters or 86 and a half inches. Now let's do the same for the front. So the same for the front. I'm walking from the back of the board. That's the beginning of the board. That's my measuring tape. So light kind of dies out somewhere at this point here. And as luckily enough car is coming. And it is at two point four meters or ninety-four and a half inches. And this I believe is the best setting of all. You have uh, one light shining, so you can see what's happening on the floor. One uh, flickering, strobing, and the same in the back. You get one light on, shining on the floor, and one flickering. So people can definitely see you in the dark, and you can see what's in the front of your board. You can see very clearly exactly what's happening in front of your board and that helps 
if you would prefer to ride in the dark conditions.